Not Love with Pat's Two Cents. Again, dealing with Halloween, the boogeyman, everything that goes bump in the night. And games. Oh, do we love to play games. Oh, yes, we do. Well, let me talk about a little something, something. All right, listen to this. I'm trying to see what I can do here. This is bugging me. Okay, now, this is what I want to share with you. Don't be so eager to have your kids sit at the TV with the little games. <laughs> yeah, looks like fun. They're giggling. They're having a ball. And Oh, I'm telling you, you just love seeing your kids just, just enjoy. You love to see them um, full of glee and full of fascination. Fascination. Okay. <clears throat> Couldn't get it out. So when you watch this and it delights your heart, what you don't realize is you are opening the door to things for your children that could cause them problems in the future. Some of you wonder why some of your kids have become drug addicts. You wonder what's turned some of your children so rebellious. Games like Dungeons and, you know, whatever. I'm not going to name the whole names. Or, or movies, yeah, like You Know What Potter. I mean, all these different witchcraft movies and, and these, these games where you've got all these demons from hell and, uh, and they're, they're killing and they're attacking and they're, they're bringing up, the conjuring up the evil from the dark side and straight from hell. And, and the, the kids are just playing with that. You cannot warm yourself by the devil's fire and expect not to get burned. I'm going to stop with that. Please, I'm going to upload on the description page, on the description below. I'm going to upload scriptures that talk about how God feels about consulting with that mess. Having the cursed thing. You know, the Bible says, touch not the unclean thing. All of that that I mentioned and what I talked about in the prior videos, they are unclean. They are considered an abomination to God. You hear me? Think on that. Selah. God bless you.